Hey, what's going on, everybody? On YouTube, Steve here with Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day so far. In today's video, I wanted to show you the Jungle Scout web app and also show you the Jungle Scout uh, Chrome extension. Uh, Jungle Scout is a company that is run by my friend Greg Mercer. I actually just recently met him in Fort Lauderdale at a concert and had him on my channel recently. We did a webinar. You guys might have seen that a couple months ago. But he created a software that allows you to do a whole bunch of things. The number one thing that I like about it is it allows you to be able to uh, research and find profitable private label products or just profitable products that are selling on Amazon that you can white label, private label, and sell under your own brand. So I've been doing a lot of videos lately about private label. I've actually got a couple interviews coming up. I have an interview with uh, my buddy Carter Maxwell. He's 17. He's doing $25,000 a month selling his private label product with about a 40 to 50% profit margin. And um, yeah, I'm super motivated to get back into private label. Um, I've never private label, private labeled a product before. And I actually just recently uh, purchased the Jungle Scout web app. I've used the Chrome extension for a while. So I want to show you guys live how to use it. I'm not an expert when it comes to this tool, but I have watched a lot of videos and I've been kind of learning it myself. So I thought it would be a cool experiment, um, an experience to just kind of research products live with you guys and just share my screen as I use the Jungle Scout web app and also how I use the uh, Jungle Scout Chrome extension um, alongside with it. And then I'm going to show you guys like researching the products on Amazon and various things because this is just cool. This is really cool. And I'm looking forward to private labeling my first product in 2018. Obviously, I'm not going to show you guys what product I'm going to do. I'm just doing the research phase with you guys. And I am going to just kind of be learning the tool with you. And I'd advise you guys, if you ever, you know, if you have a YouTube channel or a Facebook group, don't tell people what private label product you are going to sell because you're just creating more competition for yourself and you're just opening up the doors for issues and whatnot. So um, it's going to be fun. Let me take a look in the comments to see who we have. We got Thrilla the Gorilla. What's going on? We got KG. Alejandro Hernandez, hi from Ali, Alabama. I was gonna say, I was gonna say hi from Alibaba. Hi from Ali, uh, Alabama. I've got private label in my mind. We got Eric Parrish in the house. What's up, Eric? Mother selling hustler. What's up from Savannah? Jose Gomez, good use goods. La Locomotion, redneck, uh, Redneckerson's Sons Resale says you have helped me a lot. Thank you. Hey, I appreciate that, Red. Appreciate you stopping by. CT Whale. I see that uh, that that Whalers logo. Where are you from, CT Whale? Where in Connecticut? So yeah, cool. Um, if you guys want to try out this software, you know, after I'm doing the video, you're interested in it. Uh, I do have a link down below to Jungle Scout. That's rakeandprofit.com/slash/junglescout. Again, there's a couple different services. The web app, which I'm going to show you, is mostly for product research, and then the Chrome extension is going to help you to kind of organize the information, which I'm going to share with you guys. So. Let's just dive right into it. Oh, Meriden, cool. I'm from Ellington, so we're probably about 30, 35 minutes away from each other. So smash the like button. Check out Jungle Scout down in the description if you like this video. And um, let's dive into it. Let me share my screen with you guys. Okay, so let me just double check to make sure everything's working okay. Let me know you could see my screen and let me know if you could hear me as well. Hey, what's up, Joy? Good to see you, uh, PFC. So you should be able to see my screen. Let me do a test, a sound test real quick. As well. Okay, that, it looks like everything's working well. So right now we are on the Jungle Scout uh, website. If you go to Jungle Scout, if you purchase it and you log in, you're going to get access to a couple different things. <coughs> um, there's the product tracker. To be honest, I'm not sure how to use this. These are just some samples. I need to learn how to use this. Um, that's essentially for tracking your product to see like how the sales are going, the 30 day sales, the average price, various things like that, just to make sure before you get into a private label product that it's what you think it is. Um, I don't know how to use that yet. I'm going to learn, but what I'm going to teach you how to use is the product database right here. Now this is where 
You're going to do the research to be able to find profitable products, determining what products are selling really well, um, how much each product is making per month in gross sales, and you can do all these different things. So <clears throat> first off, you have the categories here. These are the different categories that you can create for the search. And as you can see over here on the right-hand side, I was actually searching for oversized items previously. I'm going to turn that off. But here are all the different categories. Uh, I'm going to turn on the categories that aren't gated off, like uh, arts and crafts, baby, um, let's see, camera and photo. Clothing's gated, but that's easy to get into. I I'm actually going to turn that off now. Uh, electronics, I'm not going to do that because with private label products, I don't want all the liability of things breaking and refunds. Um, home and kitchens, good. Toys and games, uh, sports and outdoors, pet supplies, patio, office. Those are the categories I'm going to turn on for now. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm going to break down a specific criteria and then Jungle Scout is going to bring back that criteria for me based on the matches. So it's only going to search these categories. Obviously you can search other categories as well. Now here's the price. Um, I want to find products that are selling between $20 and $50. Obviously you want a minimum $20 just because anything lower than that you're really going to be squeezing your margins and your profits and as you know FBA already takes a good amount of money. So I'm going to stick between 20 and 50. Uh, that's what I've learned based on my research, kind of the price range you want to be into. Once you go over $50, it's a little more challenging for somebody to just pull the trigger and buy your item without you know, thoroughly searching reviews and thoroughly searching the competition. So you kind of want that impulse buy. So I'm going to stick with 20 to 50. Um, I'm not going to put any, in, anything in for net or rank. Based on my research, I haven't really seen people doing that. Estimated sales. Um, I'm going to start with 300 sales per month because, again, I'm not an expert. I'm just going based on what I've learned watching videos from Greg Mercer and other private label sellers. You want to kind of stick with at least 300 um, because then that is 10 sales per day. So I know a lot of private private label sellers have a goal of selling, you know, a product for 10 sales, 10 sales a day for $10 profit, which would be $100 a day, 3,000 profit. So I'm really looking for something that does $3,000 to $5,000 profit. So I'm going to leave that there. Also, another thing that I've learned is you want to go after products that don't have tons of reviews. Once you start going after, let me make sure someone can hear me. Everyone's saying you can't see me. Can you see me or not? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, can you see? Reviews. Okay, I could hear myself and I could see myself. So let me know in the comments, guys. I apologize about that. Um, but in terms of reviews, you want to keep your reviews under a hundred from 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 my research. The lower the reviews, the better, because the higher and the more reviews these sellers have with a particular item, the harder it is going to be for you to not only rank, um, because these these low these high reviewed products they're going to have low ranks. They're going to be selling. They're going to be solidified on the front page, in the first page, and it's going to be hard to rank your your product. So based on what I've learned, you want to kind of keep it 100 reviews or less. Also, another thing you can do is you can put a rating in here. So for example, I want to go after products that are selling really well, 300, you know, 300 sales or more per month between 20 and $50 within these categories that have a rating less than 4.2. Because the reason why you want to do that, from my understanding, is you want to find products that are selling well, but could be improved upon. So essentially, you want to bring a product to market that you can improve upon, that you can make better. Maybe you can add a bundle. Maybe you could just improve the customer experience. And what you can do is you could make your spot that way by improving the customer experience. That's really important. Um, weight, sometimes people put in like 10 pounds or less or one pound or less. It really just depends on what you want to do. I'm not going to put anything there. I'm not going to do anything number of sellers or listing quality. Um, here under product tier, you can choose either standard or oversized items. Um, from what I've learned, most people say to get started with standard items. The reason being you can actually get them shipped overseas via, uh, you know, a plane versus doing a, a ship because a ship's going to take 30 to 40 days for it to arrive. Whereas a plane, you know, you can order it and get everything shipped pretty quickly. So I'm going to do that and then seller, I'm just going to leave it that way. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to do a search and now you're going to see what the Jungle Scout web app does. And again, I am not an expert when it comes to this. Um, I'm learning myself. So this is kind of us just learning together. So take it for what it's worth. Let's see. 
All right. So here we have an item, the wand wine filter, histamine and sulfite remover, savor the wine. This is in the kitchen and dining category. It's actually selling for $24.99. $6.74 in fees are being taken. That's probably not including shipping, uh, which means they're making $18.25 on this item minus cost of goods and then PPC. Uh, the weight is 0.2 pounds. It has 46 reviews and a 3.7 uh, 3.7 rating, which means you could definitely come in, create a product like this and improve upon it. Now, there's a lot of factors to consider, like is it trademarked, um, the competition, various things, which we're going to look into. It's ranked 3,599 3, in kitchen and dining, which is crazy. There's four sellers in this listing, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, and then it's selling an average 623 estimated sales per month with $15,568. So if you right click this and open this in another tab, you can actually take a look at this product to see exactly what's going on. So again, 46 reviews, uh, three and a half stars. One thing that I've learned that you can do, and I'm not saying this is a good product or not, but we're going to have to do some research, is you can go into the one star reviews and see what people are complaining about, and then you can improve upon the product. So maybe people are saying, you know, it's too fragile. Well, when you go to contact the manufacturers on Alibaba or however you're, however you're sourcing it, you can tell them, hey, can we use a stronger metal? Um, can we use a different material? Um, can we make it bigger? So go into the reviews and kind of see what's going on. <clears throat> so here's one. To be fair, I can't honestly say whether this product works or not. What I can say is that it changed the taste of my wine to point of undrinkable. Sorry, I wasted my money. Uh, doesn't work. As someone with, as someone very sensitive to sulfites, I thought this might make it possible to enjoy a greater variety of wines. So you know, just go through and you can read, and then you, maybe you could find an opportunity to improve upon uh, the actual product. Uh, let me click back into that. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what this actually is, the wand wine filter. So it looks like it's a wine filter. I'm not exactly sure how this works. Uh, histamine and sulfite remover. So just taking a look at the listing and whatnot. Uh, but that's just kind of a way to kind of look at the actual product. Now, one thing you can do, maybe I'm going to show you how to use the, uh, the, the jungle scout Chrome extension, which you can actually see in the top right hand corner of my, um, Oops, in the right hand of my screen right here. What we can do is we could type in wine filter. And sorry for the background noise. I live in an apartment complex, and it looks like they're mowing the lawns over here. So what you can do is you could type in wine filter. And you want to ignore these top ones up here because these are sponsored products, which means people are paying um, pay-per-click based on keywords and whatnot. What you can do is you could click the Jungle Scout Chrome extension at the top. And now what it's going to do is organize all of these in a nice Easy to understand fashion, the brand, the price, the category, the rank, the sales, the reviews, um, the rating, so on and so forth. So you can get a better idea of the competition um, just to see if there's an opportunity for you to come in and rank on that on that first page. So um, scrolling down, where's the first one that's not uh, – let's see. So the Nuance wine filter right here, $22.99, 20,000 rank, 136 sales. It's making about 31, uh, a little over $3,000 per month, has 167 reviews. Uh, the next one in line is this odd brand right here, 684 sales, 80 reviews. So this is just a good way to see the competition, the ratings, to look through, to see how much it's selling for, how much money you're making, and so on and so forth. Let's go back into the app. Um, the Jungle Scout web app and take a look at some other items um, that are selling. So just scrolling through, I'm just looking around. And again, it's really cool because it's showing <clears throat> the price, the reviews, the weight, the fees, how much it's selling for. And it's just a great way to kind of see what's going on in the market. I'm just scrolling through to see if there's anything interesting that's like worthy of private labeling. Uh, let's see. Scrolling, scrolling. I've actually bought that ink before. Wow, that ink is actually selling $12,000 worth per month. It's pretty crazy. Um, trying to find something that's somewhat interesting. I don't want to, I don't know why the clothing's coming up. It must be coming up in the sporting category. Yep, it is. All right, get out of here, all this clothing. So, this was actually something interesting that I was looking at the other day. Um, I'm probably not going to do it, so I'll just share it with you guys. 
this is a 24 pack of uh, these little tin cans. I think you put candles in them. Um, the reason I was looking at it is because check this out. It only has three reviews, right? Uh, it's a four star. It's selling for $25. This has sold $13,300 worth, 532 estimated sales uh, the last month. So if I click into that, check out this listing. And I apologize about, about the, the background noise. Hopefully it's not super duper loud. Right when I go live, I got the guy mowing the lawn next to me. Um, it's a 24 pack of eight ounce candle tins and it looks like you put candles in it. The title is really bad. The front, the first picture isn't really bad. It doesn't even look like there's any more pictures. Um, this actually might be a good private label product. The details section isn't very in depth. Um, but check this out. I'm going to type in candle, eight ounce candle tins. So let's see what's going on here. Um, it's actually ranked number one when you type that in. I don't know what type of search volume this has. I would probably go into like the Google keyword planner or like merchant words and start researching what kind of traffic, you know, eight ounce candle tins gets, or possibly I want to just search for candle tins. But if I pull up the jungle scout web app, You'll be able to see right here that this has sold 16,900 over the last 30 days. Only three reviews. This actually looks like somewhat of an interesting opportunity. Um, the next thing I'd want to do is search the competition. Now, here's a company called Candle Science that they're selling 12 of them, eight ounces for 1879. 7,109 rank in arts and crafts, $2,800 in sales. They do have 107 reviews, so it is a pretty good amount of reviews, but it's not a ton. Um, here's another one. Uh, it's that same. Actually, this is a different company. This is this is the company that's creating that first one, Candlewick, right here. Uh, 12 pieces with lids, 1820. 142,000 rank, not really selling a ton. Um, here's another one right here. It's actually a different type of item. That's Candle Wicks. Uh, here's another eight ounce set of four but it's got a high rank. It's only sold 200. So the problem with this is I don't see a ton of these selling. I'd like to know what your guys' opinion is on this, um, on this, this candle 10. Um, I do see this one killing it with very little reviews, but I would like to see more, um, more sellers and whatnot. It looks like there's just, it's just dominated by a couple people. So this could be an, a good opportunity. And now what you want to do from my understanding is go over to a website called Alibaba. And now what you can do is you can go to Alibaba. This is a place where you can source and type in eight ounce uh, candle. What was this called? Eight ounce. <clears throat> I think it's just eight ounce candle tens. And now you can see how much you can source these for. So for example, here's one. I don't know if this is very similar, but this one's selling for 17 to 50 cents each. Um, don't, from my understanding, these minimum requirement orders, you can actually get them for much less once you negotiate. Um, let's scroll through. Here's another one, 24 to 59 cents each, 19 to 68 cents each. Just trying to find some similar ones. Uh, even a gold one might be cool. That might be a good way to differentiate yourself from the crowd. Um, five cents each. Oh, here's one. Two cents to a dollar. That's pretty broad. Let's just say though you can get each one for 10 cents each, right? Let's go back to this. Uh, let's go back to this listing. Say you can get each one for 10 cents each. And I'm not sure, you know, if you can actually do that or not. But at 10 cents each, you'd literally be in this for, you know, let's just say four bucks, right? With shipping and everything. Four dollars selling it for 25 bucks. So this person is getting hit with eight dollars and thirty cents in fees. So if they sell it for 25, they're left with 1670. If you get it for four bucks, you're left with you know twelve dollars profit with 500 sales. I mean, that's that's like five thousand dollars profit just on this item right here. So this is a pretty interesting um product. I'm gonna refresh the uh the, pa the page to see what you guys think about this one. Um, just looking at the comments. So some people are saying you can't see me. Yes, because I'm sharing my screen with you guys. I'm just showing you guys how I'm kind of researching this. What's up, Big 292? If you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. Um, but it's cool. You know, you find a product, doesn't have good reviews. Maybe you can improve upon it. Maybe you can, maybe you can do these 10 cans a different color, 
right? That might be interesting right there or do a different quantity or maybe like a cool design on it. That might be a good way to differentiate yourself. Um, but that's one of the things I like about this jungle scout web app is just finding products. I'm going to keep searching to see what else there, there is here. <clears throat> Yeah, there's a lot of clothing stuff. I don't like that. I almost want to, you know what? I think I'm going to go back here and take the sporting off because I don't want to see all this clothing stuff at this moment. Let's do another search. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm just looking to see. Check out this turkey right here. 42-inch cute airborne inflatable blow-up lighted happy turkey. This thing is ranked. 2,614. This sold, this sold $28,000 in sales in the last 30 days. Check this out. Obviously, you know, Thanksgiving coming up, this is probably a hot trending topic, but check that out. $28,000 in sales on this product. Um, absolutely unbelievable. Holly is asking question. Do you mean purchase the tens and then design them and resell them? Well, what you would do essentially from my understanding is you can actually purchase the tens. And if you'd like, you could put a design on them. You could just sell them generic and plain. It looks like people might just want them plain to put their candles in. Um, but you would order it, you know, obviously you'd have your own brand. Um, you create your own packaging under your own private label brand. And obviously with a bundle, you'd have to do, you know, you'd have to put them all together and, you know, uh, poly bag them, however you, however you do so or box them. Um, but you would sell it under your own brand. So maybe your brand would be, you know, Raken's candles, right? And, uh, so I would create packaging. I would source it off of Alibaba, maybe four or five bucks for, for, um, for that quantity. I'm just estimating, um, create my own packaging, create my own labels, um, and then sell it under my own brand as a generic item. And that's what people are doing with private label products. They're sourcing from, you know, websites like Alibaba. So for example, say I want to look up, uh, what was that last one? Turkey blow up. Oh, I'm just going to type that in. There's all types of products here that you can, that you can purchase and then private label. Now, obviously certain things, you know, are going to be trademarked and copyrighted and whatnot. So you want to do your research with that. Um, you know, but here's like a tablecloth, a penny to five cents each. Um, all different types of items. You wouldn't even believe it. Like even like poly bags, if you wanted to sell poly bags, one thing I was looking up was uh, poly bags with like animal designs. They seem to be selling pretty well on uh, Amazon as well. Here's just a, a freaking kitty cat on a uh, backpack that you can private label. So there's just so many options. So this is what the web app is doing. You're searching a specific criteria and it's bringing back information for you. Um, based on what you're looking for, based on the category, based on the amount of reviews, based on the customer, um, you know, the reviews in terms of how much they liked it, the selling price, so on and so forth. So this is just what I've been doing the last couple of days, just searching for uh, opportunities. Um, you know, I'm not going to talk to you guys about what exactly to look for with a private label product. I'm still learning myself, but I'm at this point, I'm just kind of going through and, and looking at the various opportunities. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Jungle Scout's million dollar case study, um, they've actually documented like 15 or 20 videos of the entire process of going through their pro private label product. Um, they created a baby product and it's just really cool to watch. All right, let's keep going through. Yeah, the Jungle Scout software isn't cheap. Um, I actually purchased the the thirty nine dollar a month one, so I actually don't have the Niche Hunter. Um, but if you want the Niche Hunter, I think that's like forty nine or sixty nine a month, so it's not cheap. Um, but you know, if you're going to start a private label business, I mean, look at some of these numbers. I mean, you can make three thousand, five thousand. There's there's items that are selling. Look at this one, nineteen thousand dollars worth of dog food. So I mean, is it worth it for you to pay thirty nine a month or forty nine a month to be able to find the product from? Because from my understanding, you can do everything right from creating the right packaging to keywords to titles to photographs to you know back end pay per click advertising. But if you don't find a product, like if you don't find a product that has a market uh, that you can actually rank for, then you're wasting your time. So uh, for me, it was well worth it to pay the $39 per month to get in, to, to get in on this. You're definitely going to want to get the Chrome extension as well. That's just a one-time payment. Forget what it was. It might've been like $197. Um, but let's try to find another product and do some research on it right now. All right. 
I want to try to find something that I would actually private label. Like for me, I don't want to private label anything to do with food. I don't want to private label anything that's going to be electronic. It's going to break high ret refunds. I don't want to do anything that's going to have a liability. Like I was looking at these, um, these things for babies that keep them like inside the room. And I was just thinking if that thing breaks and like, if you kill, like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you end up killing a, a kid or it like chokes or like, you're just, you're done. So I'm trying to find like more like safe products versus like products that have high liability. So let me see if I could find a good example. I'm not doing a great job with you guys. Uh, let's keep, let's continue moving through. From my understanding, it take anywhere from five to 10 to 20 hours to find a good product. So this is very, very time consuming. Uh, if you guys know Tanner J. Fox on YouTube, I'm actually interviewing him at four o'clock tonight. He's going to be on the, on the uh, Rake and Profit show. Um, he actually has virtual assistants doing this for him now. So this could be a good opportunity for you to train your virtual assistant based on what you're looking for. Uh, at this point, I'm such a, a beginner that I need to learn this on my own and just spend the time going through. Um, but let's find something. Let me focus here. Um, let's see. What do we have? I don't see anything super interesting at this point. I'm going to just keep scrolling through. Sorry if I'm moving kind of fast, guys. Hey, Eric, I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for, thanks for watching. I'm going to find a product, I promise you guys. Something that we can look into that's not copyrighted like Keurig. Uh, no, I don't want to deal with anything that's in the medical field. This is the one of the things I've been struggling with is how to find an actual item. And I think it just takes time. I think it just takes time to go through and, you know, there's different things like baby bottles and stuff, but I want to find something that's a little more unique and different. Um, Let's see. I don't see anything very interesting yet. I'm just looking at the item right now. I'm not really looking at like the rank or how much it's selling for. I just want something that looks interesting. Um, what is this? An Ergo Baby Original Swaddler Elephant? What is that? Looks interesting. So this looks like, I guess this is what a swaddler is. It looks like it wraps around the baby and maybe it's Velcro. That looks interesting. Let's take a look at, I'm trying to figure out what the keyword is that I'm looking for a swaddler. Let's see. Let's type that in. So you can actually type it in and see what Amazon's recommending. So I'm seeing swaddler blanket swaddler with Velcro. Let's type that in swaddler with Velcro and see what's coming up here. So now that I type that in, I actually have another, um, I have a Chrome extension that's installed as well. That's called, uh, DS Amazon quick view. Um, and that's a Chrome extension that I actually show you the, the ranking underneath the, the, the product listing. If you're wondering how that's coming up, that's a really good thing to have. So again, I'm going to avoid the ones that are, um, sponsored. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Wow. Look at this. There's a lot of reviews though. 300 reviews, 796 rank, 5,000 rank, 1600 rank, 42,000, 2,000, 250. This is a hot seller, hot, 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 hot seller. So now let's use the Jungle Scout um, Chrome extension to take a look at the competition. This is going to be ranked in order um, from, from the first one, right? The Swaddler Blanket. This should be right here. Yep. All the way down to you know the bottom of the page. So obviously the higher you rank up, the better chance you're going to have of making the sale. So now what I want to look for is to see how stiff the competition is. If I see people with 300, 500, 700 reviews, um, I'm not going to want to go into that product because it's just going to be very hard to rank. And being a newbie slash beginner like myself, I want to find something that is selling hot, that has an opportunity for me to improve upon and um, has an opportunity for me to be able to rank. So if you look at the top, you can see actually the um, based on the first 24 listings on the first page, the average sales is 655. The average sales rank is 97,000. The average reviews <clears throat> is 210 and the average selling price is 2131. So this looks a little too competitive for me. I see everyone has really good ratings. I see the top dogs have 300 reviews, 284, um, over a thousand. Here's another one with a thousand. Is this the same thing? Let's take a look. Oops, I just added it. I don't know what I did. Um, but this looks a little too competitive for me. I'd like to see like maybe the, you know, I would like to see these numbers maybe 
8,000, 7,000, 12,000, 6,000, maybe 4,000 in sales with maybe a bunch of ratings that are like less than four um, and maybe reviews around like 60, 25, 17, maybe a couple like nine or 10. So this is just a little too competitive for me from, from my understanding. So I would probably pass on that. But maybe it is a good opportunity and I just don't know. If you guys are enjoying this so far, be sure to do me a big favor. It looks like we have 70 people watching live and hit that like button down below. It really, really helps to get these videos out more. And just lets me know that I'm on, on the right track. The more likes I get, uh, the more likely I am to make more videos like this. So let me know if you want me to like make videos like this as I kind of go through my journey. Maybe I can share with you, you know, like right now I'm sharing the process of learning how to do this. Uh, maybe the next video can be me sharing what to look for on Alibaba in terms of finding reputable uh, manufacturers and, and companies to source from and, you know, different things like that. So let me know. Hitting that like button isn't just about me getting more views. It's actually a way for me to gauge if, if this is something you guys are interested in or not. <clears throat> Let's take a look. What's this right here? Stylish desktop drop storm glass crafts. Mm, I don't want to sell anything that's glass. Someone should create adult swaddlers, Holly says. These wrap newborn babies and they feel like they're still in the womb. Hey, might be a good idea. From one thing I've learned from like Greg Mercer and other private label sellers, um, uh, what's his name over at the amazing seller podcast and, you know, Manny Coates is you don't want to try to invent something that doesn't already have a market. What you essentially want to do is find a product that's already selling really well. And there's a, there's room for you to come on in and improve the product and, or maybe add a bundle or a different quantity or just an add a, add a unique selling uh, proposition to the customers, right? You want to, you want to get in on something that's already doing well. So many people say, you know, if this existed, like it would make so much money. That's, that's a lot of just, um, speculation. Um, from what I've learned from expert sellers, Andy Slammons, Manny Coates, Greg Mercer is find a product that's already selling really well and improve upon it. So that's what I'm looking for. Also, I'm looking for something that's not super high liability. Um, fingerlings, you definitely do not want to sell those. You will be sued instantaneously. Uh, let's keep going through. What do we have here? I'm not finding very many good products. If anyone has any tips for me, please let me know. I'm actually going to be um, masterminding with my buddy Brandon Pierce soon and Carter Maxwell. We're going to be talking soon. Hopefully tonight I just reached out to them to kind of help me to learn the, the Jungle Scout web app a little better. Uh, there might be things that I'm missing or maybe uh, criteria that I didn't type in properly. What is this? A silicone rectangle... G I R. I don't know what that is. Let's check that out. I don't know. It's selling thirteen thousand uh, dollars worth per month. So let's see what this is. Let's watch the video. Been a parade of people here this morning, yes. stopping at this spot right here because they want to know about these lids. Yes, Tell me about these. These are silicone lids from Gear. Get it right, and boy, did they! You can use them for anything you'd use a foil or a plastic wrap for. And check out this seal. I mean, it keeps things fresh. Oh, that's interesting. So you lift it up easily from the side, but once yes. you put it on, it makes this incredible seal. Oh, that's Isn't cool. That incredible. Inexpensive? No, starting at seven dollars and fifty cents from productofgear.com. <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, yeah. I don't want to sell something for 750. Um, it looks like this brand actually has like a, they're probably driving outside traffic. So I'm not going to mess with that item. It looks like it might be proprietary or something unique. Um, so I'm probably going to pass on that. Um, let's see what else there is. Hey, appreciate that. Like big two nine two. I appreciate all the likes everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, I saw this the other day. Check out this hanging Santa Claus right here. This sold $23,000 so far. I mean, imagine if you would have got this in and listed on Amazon a couple months ago, right? I mean, check that out. They probably got that for like $3 off of Alibaba and they're selling it for $29.99. The reviews are actually horrible. Um, I wonder if there's any opportunities for hanging. What is this thing? Uh, Santa hanging from gutter. Let's see if there's any other sellers who are selling this. Um, it looks like Jimmy... Jimmy. So it looks like there's about four different sellers right here. Uh, let's use the Jungle Scout app. You know, obviously I wouldn't private label this now. There's not enough time to get that 
created and in for Christmas time. Um, but this is actually selling really well. Uh, this one sold 25,000, 5,000. So it looks like there's only really two sellers, Jimmy and then home, uh, home accents are selling this. Um, I wouldn't mess with this, but I was just kind of curious to take a look at it. What else do we have here? To be honest, this was a little harder than I thought to find a product. I mean, I've only been doing this for a couple of hours, so maybe I have to just be patient. Maybe I have to dive a little deeper into each items. Um, but it, it was a little harder to use this web app than I had expected. So if anyone has any tips, please let me know. I am looking at the comments now. Let's see. <clears throat> Obviously, you don't want to do any ink, all HP. That's all trademarked. I don't want to mess with any toys. I want to find something that's somewhat generic that I can put my own label on. Hmm. Just scrolling through, looking. <clears throat> hmm. Not seeing any real opportunities so far. It looks like I have a thousand results. So. Artificial greenery, fake ivy, le ivy leaves. Hmm. Let's take a look at that. That looks interesting. Um, it's actually a number one bestseller. Uh, artificial greenery, fake ivy leaves, garland hanging for wedding party, garden wall decoration. So this definitely looks like a private label seller right here. I can just tell. Um, there's their private label uh, packaging right there, artificial ivy. I'm guessing that that's the brand right there. So I really like the first picture. I like all the keywords up front. I like the description. It looks very in depth. Um, let's take a look. I think this is going to be the main keyword. Let me, let me artificial greenery. Let's see what happens when I start typing that into, um, Amazon artificial greenery leaves. So let's see what happens when I pull that up. So these are the sponsored ones actually with no rank. It looks like they, maybe they just launched. Um, that's a very high rank, high rank. That's somewhat of a low rank, but it's a super low price as well. I don't know if I'm typing in the right keyword or not. They, that's the thing about not understanding the niche. It might be something super specific. I'm going to pass on this just because it, it's kind of confusing me a little bit. Um, but let's keep moving, moving around, seeing what, what else there is. Reseller Niche is giving me some good advice here saying, be patient. Jungle Scout is awesome. Been using it for months. It takes a while at first to find the perfect search criteria that fits your business model. So that's some good advice right there. Uh, reseller Niche, let me know what your thoughts are on the criteria that I set right here. Um, I know maybe I could add some categories or take away some categories, but I did the price between 20 and 50 300 estimated sales or more, uh, less than 100 reviews, and then a rating of less than you know 4.2 or less to improve upon the product standard size. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that. You know, possibly I'm just using the wrong criteria. Um, maybe I can improve upon that. Let's see what else we have here. <clears throat> So this looks like another private label product as well. Let me open this one up. Foot pads, upgraded patches with 100 adhesive sheets and 100 foot pads. Uh, this is actually selling for $22.99. Um, $763 in fees are being taken away, which means the seller's netting approximately $15.36 minus cost of goods, minus um, you know shipping and everything like that. It weighs 1.35 pounds. Uh, they have 48 reviews with only a 3.8 rating, so there's definitely some room to improve. Excellent um, seller rank at 5,632. Um, LQS, I'm not sure what that means. Um, estimated sales, 722, selling $16,598 worth. Um, let's take a look at this product. Now, only 47 reviews. I like that. Um, let's find what the keyword is that we can search. And why I want to find the keyword is because I want to see what the competition is. There's always, most likely always going to be other competitors selling the same product or something similar. Uh, it might be a different quantity. It might be a different quality. Uh, it might even be a different color. There might be something unique to the product. And that's the next step right now. 
um, from my understanding, is figuring out what's going on with the competition. Um, what category is this being sold in? This is in the home and kitchen. So let me see what the what do you guys think the keyword is that I should search for? I'm thinking foot foot pads. I don't know if that's it. See, that's the problem is sometimes if you don't type in the right keyword, then you can't gauge exactly what the competition is, is, um, is doing. I know there's a software, my good friend, Manny Coates created, it's called helium 10. And I might be making a video about that, but I know with that software, you can extract, extract the keywords that are being used. So then you can kind of find out what keywords are ranking and then you could like kind of see what products are ranking for that keyword to really see the competition. Uh, it looks like Holly is saying detox foot pads. So let me, let me type in detox foot pads. and that actually popped up as number one. So that's, that might be a good keyword. Um, so I typed that in and I already see water bottles popping up. So I don't know if that actually probably wasn't a good keyword because I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of, <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of things popping up that, that weren't, that weren't um, appropriate for that search. Um, maybe foot pads adhesive. Let me just see what comes up. See, this is the part that I'm really learning. I think that's it. Now, this is under health and household, so I'm not sure if this would be um, a restricted category or not. But I am seeing a metatarsal pads. Um, oh, there's there's another foot pad. This actually looks different than the original listing. Yeah, because the, the original listing is by... Kim Omni. This is by Full, Full Live. Um, look at this though. 14 reviews. Um, hmm. I'm just looking to see if this is an opportunity right now. This actually might be a good private label product. Um, health and household. Is that restricted right now? Let me know. Um, now I do want to build some context and let you know I might be searching the wrong keywords. So you might find an opportunity that looks amazing come to find out that you're typing in a very, very specific keyword, and then the broader keyword might have a lot more competition. So um, I think one of the challenges that I'm dealing with now is figuring out, okay, I find something that's interesting, possible opportunity. How do I find the root keyword and then all the other keywords associated so I can really get a full picture of the competition? Um, I think that's like the big thing right there. I'm going to use Jungle Scout right now, the Chrome extension. And again, if you guys want to check out this software or anything, um, you can check out the first link in the description, rakeandprofit.com slash Jungle Scout. Um, again, this is the Chrome extension. That's a one-time payment for that. Uh, the actual web app is an ongoing reoccurring payment of, I think it's like 39. So, wow, this actually looks really, really good um, just based on the just based on the, the criteria that Jungle Scout Pro Extension is telling me. Uh, average monthly sales is 390, so that fits my criteria. The average sales rank is 24808, which definitely fits my criteria. Average selling price of 1521. Uh, that is a little lower than I would have liked. But again, from my understanding, you don't have to necessarily be the, the cheapest um, price when, when selling. There's other ways to differentiate, differentiate yourself and build um, credibility and whatnot, uh, 32 average reviews. So this actually looks really, really freaking good. Um, again, I'm not sure if this is a restricted category or not. Um, I would obviously have to research some of the liability and whatnot. Um, I'm just looking to see what's going on here. This, this is interesting. I think there's a way for me to be able to save this. Let me see, share or download. Google trend report associated keywords. What's that do? Oh, wow. That's cool. I didn't even know that existed. So down at the bottom, it looks like there's a little keyword cloud. Adhesive, anti-arch, blisters, bumper, foot, metatarsal gel, pads. Interesting. That's cool. I didn't even know that was there. Um, Google trend report. What's that do? Looks like there's nothing really popping up. And then share or download. So I can share to Facebook, download a screenshot. Uh, download CSV file. Interesting. That's cool. Um, let's see. Yeah. So that's interesting. Let me know. What do you guys think about this opportunity right here? That looks somewhat interesting. Um, let's go into, what did I use? Foot pads adhesive. Let's see what people are selling that for on Alibaba. So let's go over to Alibaba.com. This is the, um, 
I think it's like the biggest e-commerce website in the world to be able to source products wholesale and private label. I'm going to type in uh, foot pads adhesive and I just want to see what comes up. So it looks like there's a bunch of manufacturers selling these various ones. Again, I'm not sure of the liability. I'm not sure of, you know, I'd have to do some research into what works, what doesn't um, take a look at the reviews and everything. But it looks like this, this, this person selling them for 15 to 19 cents each. And this seller, where was the one I was looking at? Let me get out of that. I'm trying to see if they're they're selling bundles or if it's like one. So this is a pack of a hundred. So, um, you know, say I was able to get it for twenty cents each. That's um, well, that would actually be too expensive. But I don't know. I'm just I'm just kind of brainstorming with you guys, looking around. That's interesting, though. Yeah. So that's kind of my mindset. And that's kind of how I'm using the um, the Jungle Scout web app. Again, I'm going to just spend a little more time kind of searching through and looking, but I just want to share my screen with you guys and let you guys know um, kind of like some of the basics about it. Again, like I said, I'm not an expert. Um, I'm still on my journey of private labeling my first product, and I'm on phase one of the product research right now. So hopefully you, find val you found value in this video. If you did, again, do me a big favor and hit the thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to get the answers for you. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's the Jungle Scout web app. Again, that's a reoccurring monthly fee for that one. And then there's the Chrome extension, which I shared with you guys that you can check out as well at reaganprofit.com slash Jungle Scout to get a better picture when you're actually on your Amazon listings. It'll extract all the information and organize it for you. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. I appreciate you all watching. I'm going to get going now because I think I've shared with you as much as I possibly can based on my knowledge, uh, but I'll be sure to come back to you guys in a future video, sharing some more information of things that I've learned and whatnot. And uh, yeah, again, hopefully this video brought you value. So with that being said, I'll talk to you next time and have a great day. Bye.